What up, y'all? Kells the Great tapping in one time. I just wanted to answer a question uh, posed to me by somebody in the community. And so we had Super Flame Dude. He commented and he said, I have yet to find a video talking about how expired names work and how they are claimable after the grace period. So shout out to you. That's a great question. We're going to get that answer for you today. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take you over here to the Dow forum first. OK, this is the documentation straight from the Dow from the Dow. And um, so in their questionnaire section, you know, their their fact fact section, um, they pose the question, can someone grab my domains at the end of my subscription period? The answer is you can renew your name at any time during the period you own it. Making sure you renew before the name expires will prevent someone else from registering the name. There is also a grace period of 90 days after your name expires. You can renew the name to retain to retain ownership of it during the grace period. OK, so this partially answers your question right here after your name expires is going to go into this grace period for 90 days during this time you know you're gonna have to pay for each each of those days so let's say you go 30 days into your expiration and let's say you decide okay let me go and renew this name for a year well, you waited 30 days, so that's going to be one month less of time that your name will actually be reflecting because what you did since you waited a month, you actually, even though you paid for a year, you're actually only paying for 11 months of renewal because you still have to pay for that time that your name was in grace period. I hope that makes sense. If it didn't, maybe you want to play this recording, you know, several times over and and then you'll pick up what I'm putting down to you. Now, moving forward. If this name were to go out of grace period, what happens after the 90 days? Right. Well, what happens is your name is going to go into what's called the the Dutch auction phase. OK, the Dutch auction phase now what happens during this dutch auction we're going to go over here to twitter because um, i couldn't really find anything about this on the dow and we got a thread written by my guy 448.eth so what he says is the ens premium algorithm is changing on the 28th of april to exponential decay the starting price will be 1000 times higher, but the premium will last eight days less. OK, because we used to the Dutch auction used to be a premium phase where once your name expires, it would start off at one hundred thousand dollars being the bid price. Somebody would have to pay one hundred thousand dollars the day after to secure that name. And for twenty eight days. There would be a decay on it, right? For 28 days, the price would decline until eventually somebody buys it at a certain premium or it goes all the way down to zero dollars and you can register it for however much in accordance to the amount of characters that the name is. So if it's a five character name, you would then be paying your five dollar fee to register it after those 28 days now this changed and that's why this thread was written now we are starting at a hundred million dollars and it's going to decay exponentially over 21 days okay so each day it will be going down exponentially now somebody had said uh let's see 
Somebody said, explain this like I'm high and stupid. And he responded and he said, the auction for expired ENS will start at $100 million, not $100,000 like before. Premium will drop more rapidly. So for 21 days now, it's going to be dropping very rapidly. The goal of descending Dutch auction is to prevent instant buys, you know, so like bots um, and all type of stuff like that. People squatting names super hard. Um, this prevents people from doing this. Theoretically, uh, when the best ENS names expire, there won't be gas wars. So 100K for Microsoft dot is a steal. That's the example that he gave. So there's not going to be people having gas wars to secure a name. So that is what happens once your name expires. There's two different phases. One is the grace period, which is going to last 30 days during that time. I'm sorry, it's going to last 90 days. And during that time, the name is unusable pretty much. But it's still tied to your wallet that you registered it with. So it still technically belongs to you and you have every right to renew that name for 90 days. They're giving you grace. OK, after that 90 days, if you have not paid any dues to secure that name, then it's going to go into the Dutch auction, which is also known as you paying a premium to secure this name. Now, one way that you can watch these names keep an eye on them is to come over here to ENS vision and you're going to click market and uh, shout out to my guy Gway man for putting me on game with this. Um, you're going to come down here to this little little tab right here and you're going to choose grace period or premium. So we'll check out the grace period and we want to look at you can look at listed names or you can uncheck that. Now we can see unlisted names and you can see everything that's in grace period right now. OK. Once these get to the bottom and eventually they're out of grace, then it's going to go into premium. So if you want to watch names that are on premium, because this is where you can snipe them. Boom. You can see. All I did was switch this tab to premium and now I can watch and I could find something that's valuable. So Jeremy Corbin is this probably the last day that is on premium and it's probably very cheap right now. Uh, you know, damn near zero, damn near the five dollar fee is probably a little bit more right now. But uh, yeah, see a dollar sixty four in premium, right? And we could click another name, for example. Uh, we'll click this one. You see, this one's still at four hundred and fifty eight k to register this name. All right. So hopefully, I've answered your question in totality, and uh, I hope this adds value to anybody that was wondering this, and now you got it in a video format. All right. So um, go ahead, subscribe to my channel, like the video and uh, stay tuned in for the next one. One love. Peace.